They have no romance. Oh my goodness. I just know they are cheating on me. Is this re relationship even worth it anymore? <gasps> Somehow all that I've been longing for was found right here. Right here next door to me. Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Today we are back in the decades challenge and this is going to be probably a very depressing episode and I'm sorry about that, but I do like to make my gameplay as realistic as it can be. If you had seen the previous episode that went out yesterday, then you know all about Anna's passing and we heard back from the funeral home. So yeah, and we found out also that Margaret is pregnant so some good things and some sad things, and that's what we call life. We are going to be having the funeral tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. We're gonna be having Anna's funeral. So that is the, what we are going to be doing in this episode. It is currently Tuesday. It is like the third day of summer. Yes, the third day of summer, it is hot and the, he is very sad. William is very, very, very sad. You are truly missed. Yes, and he's wounded. It was not, it will not be easy to get over how deeply William has been hurt from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Now that is not caused from his mother's passing. I believe that is from Margaret. I think Margaret was flirting with Mary at the birthday party last episode and I didn't catch it and William did and I think that's what that's coming from because he still has this William's lover was flirting with another having I mean, they have they been doing this behind his back that is a very interesting question William <laughs> very interesting also if you notice he's got a bunch of moodlets and I don't know where these have all come from small talk William really can't stand small talk and he's curious about clubs which is very interesting I don't know cl what clubs he would join or create I don't know maybe a men's club we could maybe do that that might be fun if he's wanting, I think he must be bored or something. I don't know, a dull sim it makes if they're not in a club apparently. But yeah, so that's what's gonna be happening this episode. Margaret also is, like I said, she is pregnant. She's currently in her second trimester. She's going to be in her third trimester in 19 hours. Very, very fun times ahead here. So I am actually really excited to see what Margaret is going to be having, if it's a boy or it's a girl. I haven't decided on any girls' names. I was thinking, I was looking over different names that were popular in the 1930s. A popular girl's name in the 1930s was Maria. And I love that name, Maria. It's also very similar to Mary. And I thought it would be interesting if she named their daughter after somebody she was very fond of. I was thinking if it's a boy, we're gonna name him after William, but instead of naming him William, I maybe could name him William and just put like a junior after the name, or maybe Bill, because a sh the short version of William is Bill or Billy. So again, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think, if it should be a, you know, if it's a boy, name him like Bill, or Billy. I mean, Billy's cute for a little kid, like a toddler, child, even a teenager, but then as you get into adults, I guess I could change it. I could change it when he grows up into an adult and name him Bill. I we could do that. So just let me know. And if it's a girl, Maria. Let me know, you guys. I am real curious to see what you guys think. It is currently 7.30 in the evening. I did have to go out with William and I didn't record it, but I did have to go over to the funeral home to make friends with the, I made a couple, a pastor and his wife that reside in the funeral home. And uh, he wasn't showing up in the event, you know, as the pastor that you need. And so I had to take William over there and make friends with him. And then he showed up. So it's all set. And I've also changed all of their clothing for their formal clothing that they're going to be wearing for this event is all black. 
And if it's not, they're going to change into it because I went through a great effort to change all of the family's clothing to black, all the siblings. Also, when I did that, I found out some interesting things. So Mary had her baby. The baby is now a toddler. The baby's name is Antonio. And I did change the baby's looks. He was like kind of wild, but he's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. So I'm thinking sometime down the line, we'll have Ma Margaret and William here maybe go for a visit. And then we can see how their little family is getting along. I did take Emma and Joseph and they were all living in, I had all of the siblings living together. So I moved Emma and Joseph into the old house and I'm going to eventually make it over here in the next few days. I will hopefully get that made over for them. But now it's just the three boys, Frank, John Jr. and Jacob that are sharing a place together. And I felt like that was kind of fitting. The three young, well, they're not the three youngest, but the three young men, you know, kind of bacheloring it up together in a house. He is feeling very, very sad. He is eating a salad right here and he need, wants to have fun really bad. Well, I think you're gonna have to play chess. I did also add some things. He had these things in his inventory and it, these were in the um, household inventory. So I'm hopefully gonna sell those after the funeral or before i don't know we'll have to see we'll have to see i guess maybe i could sell them right now we do have thirty thousand. i also found out that this loan fifty thousand agreement we only have to repay forty six thousand and seven hundred fifty right now because i think once a week i've been having it's happened twice now i've had eleven hundred simoleons come out of our account it's like once it seems to be once a week so i have to keep an eye on that but i think that loan the they're taking it out i think they're just automatically taking it out i still want to try and get ever however much we need this 46 and just pay it off i don't want to i don't want to have this loan around for that long so hopefully we can uh pay it down i wish we could pay what we have towards it right now but we can't so um so she must be not feeling well she is tired she's gone to bed now it's 9 40 at night yep she's gone to bed we'll have william he's just looking at artwork we're gonna have him sell this and then we'll have i think we're just gonna have him we're just gonna have him go to bed as well he's pretty tired and it is almost 10 o'clock at night maybe it's time he also wants to take a bath as well so maybe i'll have him to do that it is two in the morning and what is she going to do she's going to go eat some cereal at two in the morning yeah that sounds about right yeah she's gonna be in her third trimester in a couple of hours look at her and just like that we're sad we're sad just like that and she's having back pain all oh, the weight of the baby is pulling on her back she's so sore and now william is up william is up oh he needs to have fun but will he play this yes he will we'll have him play that the daily see right here the daily credit rate of william has just been booked many thanks they took out the 1100 um so let's see down here on this loan yeah, it says 46, 7, 750 still. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it lets me know beforehand and then it takes it out. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it. I don't know. She's craving healthy food. How odd to crave uncooked carrots and iceberg lettuce. Pregnancy really does a number on you. I also noticed that <laughs> Their relationship here is going really far down. So they need to, their romantic is really down. So we need to have them spend some time together. Insult face. <gasps> Margaret, stop that. Stop. Oh no, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Apologize. I'll apologize right now. It is 7.30. The funeral is at 11 o'clock so this morning, so we are going to have to do that. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will have him. He'll come down here and get 
get something to eat. Let's have him get, we're gonna have him get some more of this leftovers right here. Um, actually, no, he can, he's gonna eat a piece of this cake. He's gonna have a piece of his birthday cake. I think once he's done, we have a few hours. So while we have a few hours, we'll go ahead and stock this table and maybe we can sell a few things. We do have a little bit of time. And then we will tend the table and then can we start? William Ainsworth needs to be tending the table to start. Okay, we have to wait till he's done eating. So now he can go ahead and we'll mark up the price. I'm gonna mark him up a little bit more and then start the yard sale. Ah, uh, the funeral starts soon. Uh, location is at Willow Creek Funeral Home. And yes, we are going to be going to that. It is 10 o'clock and we have sold a couple of things here. Nope, they didn't want those. I know you want this knife block. Yes, you need to have something to put your knives into, ladies. Ladies, ladies, come buy this knife block and this book. This book will teach you everything on how to land a man. Get it now. Yep, they bought it. They bought it. Okay, we need to get going. It is time for, yep, and here we are. It's raining. Wait, I have to pause this. It's raining. Oh, wow. Okay, some tips for more successful event. Host needs an urn, casket, or tombstone to mourn. Place the deceased sims urn or tombstone or search for a functional casket to place and the entertainers need a piano. Okay, so I set it up to where there's gonna be somebody playing a piano. They are all not in your, their outfits. Okay, this is all messed up now. All messed up, shoot. So when I went in to change their clothes, I was on Emma, who's now not here. You know what, let's see if we can invite them to the lot. She, I went in to create a sim instead of doing it in the MC dresser and it automatically put it me into their control. So when I came back, I was not in, I was not in William and, and Margaret's household. So I saved and went back to manage how in world and came in this way. Cause I've done that before. And now the event is messed up and, and they are nowhere to be found. So, but when I go to see, I was gonna just cancel out of this event and see if I could do it again. It won't, it says event is currently underway and cannot be canceled. So I don't think we're gonna get anything for this event. It's supposed to have like things we're supposed to do up here and it doesn't. So I think I have messed it up. I messed it up, dang it. I wanted to just change their clothes. That's all I wanted to do. Just that simple change of clothes. There she goes. So I don't know, let's have, let's, let's see if we can do this anyway. So we're gonna knock on the door. I think because it's residential, I should have probably made it not residential. And I don't know why I didn't. We're supposed to be able to interact with this stuff, which we can, but it's now not an event, which sucks because they're supposed to get benefits from this and it's not. Maybe I just let its time run. I wish I could delete it. Maybe if I add another event, maybe if I add it this way on top of it, I wonder if that will work. Cannot plan more than one gold event on a day. Dang it. Nope, that's not gonna work either. Okay, they're here. Here's Jacob and Frank. They're all here. Um, let's have them, we're gonna have them come down here. I'm really bummed that I messed this up. Uh, so we are going to have them view together. Here they come, okay. And mourn. Oh, here they all are. Oh, wait, no, what's going on here? You're not mourning your mother's passing. Let's just remember the good times. Oh, they're all just so sad. This is really depressing though. Um, and she's gone to talk to them. Um, just like, Listen, we love her and miss her, but she's in a far better place. She's in a far better place. I'm all right, William. I just have some things I'm dealing with. Thank you for checking on me. Aw, he was talking with Mary. 
Oh, you gotta keep an eye on this, Margaret. She, you never, you never know. We're gonna have her. You never know what's coming. You never know. You never know. Uh oh, what happened? Oh dear. Mood swing. Oh, she's feeling very irritable. Uh, that's a nice name. My name is Margaret. It's nice to meet you, Jacob. How have they not met yet? I don't know. Wait, what is this? Oh. <gasps> Chatting with William, Mary, and Jacob, and Joseph. What? <gasps> she just yelled at him. Oh, no. No. And he has to go to the bathroom really bad, apparently. Go use this. I know he came up here to get away. Uh, but I just, I can't take it down there anymore. He, he doesn't understand me, my brother. He doesn't understand me. He doesn't get me at all. You will get through this, Margaret. I'm sorry you had to lose someone so important to you. So she's just tall and she's just trying to get some reassurance from her brother about her situation and checking on him. I'm all right, Margaret. I just have some things I'm dealing with. Oh, thanks for checking. She's like, I love you, brother. Thank you for helping me feel better. This is my first time using this mod, so I really didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. I didn't realize it was going to mess it up when I accidentally clicked on Emma to change their clothes. Oh, boy. Oh, she needs to go to the bathroom. Hurry, girl, hurry. And it is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I feel like this is probably done with. Normally we'd have the, you know, event ending, but it, it isn't. Fine, we're gonna have them go ahead and go home. It's pretty fitting that it is rain, it is raining on them. Here, the only thing is, is that now that this is, they're not gonna get an urn, right? They're not gonna have an urn to mourn, to have her ghost around. So I, I feel like I just messed this up and I can't undo it because i already saved okay so here we are and it, look it it's not raining here <laughs> although it is thunderstorming it is thunder i just heard thunder oh uh, so we're <laughs> what a big flop what a big flop we're gonna have them come here and um clean this up and we're gonna have them get something to eat actually we haven't cooked a dinner so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have margaret make dinner she's just telling him how she feels about her body she's so insecure she has bad feelings margaret is feeling some horrible heartburn and constant congestion every now and then during this pregnancy william is so excited and can't wait to meet this little person who is half him and half the one he loves his family is about to get bigger by two feet super soon or super soon oh he's so excited the baby is gonna come you have my heart. Margaret says you have my heart, William. You have my heart. Okay, so they're like fighting. I can't stop them from fighting. They're they're just fighting. Listen, wait. They have no romance. Oh my goodness. Neither friend or no, just an average relationship. <gasps> no. She's like, I'm just gonna cook dinner. I'm just gonna cook dinner. Oh, they just don't get along. Oh no. They're, they, oh no, no, no. No, let's, we've gotta restart this. We've gotta fix this. Let's have them be apologize. Ask about her day. There, we're getting back, we're getting back. They find, you know, we have problems, we have issues, but we, we can work through them, my sweet. We can work through them. As soon as the baby comes, it'll be all better. It'll fix everything, our family. We have to stay together for our family. Here, I love you so much. I'm willing to overlook all our, our, our problems and insecurities. I will give you this rose. Okay, she's about to pass out. She needs to go to bed. Yeah, she's off to bed. She's off to bed. It is eight at night. It is eight at night. We're not doing very well making money now, are we? Guess who's over here? Mary. Mary, what are you doing? 
Mary has come over. I didn't invite her over. I don't know what she's doing here. She's just causing problems for this family. She needs to leave. She needs to leave. We're gonna ask. We're gonna ask her. We're gonna ask her to leave. I mean, I'm a little scared that she has a knife. He's like, you know, you've caused enough problems here. I already know about you and Margaret. She told me everything. It is just time for you to go. It is time for you to go. Okay, it is 9.30. He's super tired. We got to spun up a little bit. We were working on that. We're going to have him go ahead and go to sleep. Here they are. It is 2.50 in the morning. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, they just gave a morning kiss. Aww. I just know they are cheating on me. We don't woohoo like we used to, and I've seen the way they look at other Sims. <gasps> oh dear. So William has accused Margaret of cheating. Might as well cheat if I'm gonna be accused of it. Time for a night out to get away from all the craziness. Is this relationship even worth it anymore? <gasps> So William did confront Margaret about cheating uh, with Mary, his sister. Oh, good Lord. Oh, and he's, a, he's having himself a drink. He's like, you know, I can't. I just can't. I can't take it. It's, it's, we have to have a drink. Uh-oh. She is so mad. She is so mad. The more that she's been thinking about this fight with, uh, with William, about him accusing her of cheating. She's just had it. She just doesn't know what she's gonna do with herself. She's so furious. Oh no. The daily credit roll. Okay, see the, the 1100 just came out. The 1100 just came out of, this, out of that. So now we owe how much? Now we're down to 44,000, 44,000. All right, well, she's going to go make a garden salad, apparently. We're gonna have him come out here and uh, harvest this stuff here. Wait a minute. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and just sell all of it. This is so much stuff. We're just gonna sell it all. Sell it all. He's playfully drunk. William has resorted to drinking away his problems. Okay, she needs to finish that and eat. And it is the 4th of July. It is Independence Day. I think what we're gonna do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. We're gonna leave it here. <sighs> I gotta pause this, boy. Oof, this is something here. So, well, we had a flappy, flappy funeral. It didn't work out due to my error, apparently. I messed it up. So, oh, well, that's that. But we did have, we, we did have a pretty intense discussion with Margaret here about this cheating with Mary. And yes, well, hopefully we can get this back together and hopefully we can kind of smooth things over. Like, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. They might end up splitting. <laughs> they might be getting, oh, I don't know. They might split up sooner than later so we'll we'll have to see she is currently um in her third trimester so she could have this baby anytime anytime and yeah maybe after having the baby things will be better maybe things will get better after a child comes into play or maybe it'll make things worse who knows oh my goodness i just i i can't control these sims they go the way they want to go and it's just you know, but that's what makes it this challenge fun. It makes any kind of game play fun, right? So next time, I think we'll just continue try making money. It is day five of seven. So we only have a few more days in summer and then William can go back to work here. So um, during this week, so we'll see that. I don't, I'm still not sure if he's gonna go back into the doctor career or not. We'll have to see, but she will most likely have her baby next time. I think we will throw like a little 4th of July I get together we'll have the family come over which could be more drama with margaret and mary we'll have to see so i hope you guys liked this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed it would be amazing if you did and also don't forget to click the little bell to get notified for whenever i have a video go up and i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next video mm? bye Somehow I